da 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 so european uh games euro games really if we want to get to the heart of euro games we really need to talk about the very popular games that come from germany and what what games are popular from germany basically uh trivia games quiz games games about testing your knowledge also games about strategy but um but not games really about um like war war games aren't very popular games about like like capitalism like monopoly monopoly is very popular but other games modeled on monopoly but are designed to look at life in a more full way not just about trying to cheat your friends at the table a little bit about catan it was developed by one person one german in 1995 and it didn't actually come to the us for like another 3 or 4 years later and what's funny to me is i feel like i feel like i've played catan for a really long time i feel like i've played it all my life but that's not possible because it didn't actually come to america until 20 years ago So and I didn't even live in America 20 years ago. I was living in Japan. And so so yeah, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like it seems like the, the the game that most people when they can't decide on a game to play, they all end up playing Settlers of Catan. So, let's just go ahead. Let's go ahead and start talking about Catan. I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. And We touched a little bit about on this about this game. We touched a little bit on this game last uh last week, last last live stream we talked about this game. And what this game is, it's you know how to play Monopoly, right? You know how to play Monopoly, and it's basically it's a it's a capitalism game. Settlers of Catan is is more developed than that. It's richer than that. Really what it is, really what it comes down to, it's a game of resources where you are trying to develop more resources than your fellow players and you can also work and negotiate and trade with the other players to get the things that you need. How you win is by getting the most points. Basically there's a limited set of points in this game. and when you when you make it so that it is impossible for other players to get as many points as you they run out of points and you have the most points then the game is over and you have won the game and there's a lot of a uh, cooperation there's a lot of uh trickery involved it's 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 fun it's a fun game and i definitely like this game um It is a game that you need to play over a very long period of time. This is not a quick game. You are not going to to finish this game in in two in in in, in an hour or in two hours. It's really not like that. That is not how you you play this game. Well, that's it. That's it. All I can really say now is uh that is Settlers of Catan and the next game I'm going to discuss, boy. I'm so excited for this. Oh, by the way, here's the uh, here's a better here's a better picture of Catan. Here's the box. Here's the box art for Catan. Yeah. Um yeah. So the next game that I want to talk about is another resource game. That's going to be a theme, resource game. 